Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, before I fall asleep, we're going to go over governance and regulation. It's part of the CompTI Pentest Plus learning path. I hope you guys liked the last video, Red Team Engagements. And today we're going to do governance and regulation. It's going to be pretty simple. Uh, this one's about exploring policies and frameworks vital for regulating cybersecurity in an organization. As you know, guys, uh, I'm just going to show you how to answer the questions in each task. I strongly recommend to read through every task to get a full understanding of uh, every task. So let's get right into it. Task one, introduction. Uh, just talks about learning objectives and prerequisites and answer the questions below. I am ready to start the room. So click that. All right. All right, let's go with task two. Why is it important? So it talks about important term terminologies, information security governance, information security regulations, key benefits, relevant laws and regulations and answer the questions below the term used for legal and regulatory frameworks that govern the use of the use and protection of information asset is called and you read this paragraph so it says in information security regulation re refers to legal and regulatory frameworks. So it's regulations. All right. And next question is health insurance portability and accountability act HIPAA targets which domain for data protection. You lead the, lead, read the last table it is healthcare. Then task three, information security frameworks. Talks about information security frameworks, developing governance documents, explanation through real world scenarios, preparing a password policy, and making an incident response procedure. So answer the questions below. The step that involves paraclum evaluation of policies and making changes as per stakeholders input is called I believe it's procedures or is it I think it's review and update so Next question is a set of specific steps for undertaking a particular task or process is called procedures. All right. <clears throat> task four, governance, risks, and compliance, CRC. It talks about how to develop CRC program, genetic guidelines, and there's an example of GRC framework in the financial sector. So answer your questions below. What is the component in the GRC framework involved in identifying, assessing, and prioritizing risks to the organization? Components, I believe is risk management. Next question, is it important to monitor and measure the performance of a developed policy? Yeah or nay? This one's pretty obvious, it's yeah. All right, task five, privacy and data protection. Talks about general data protection regulation, GDPR. And talks about payment card industry data security standard, PCI DSS. 
Answer the questions below. What is the maximum fine for tier 1 users as per GDPR in terms of percentage? And as you read here, tier 1, 4%. In terms of PCI DSS, what does CHG stand for? And there's a link here, you can right click. And let's control find CHD. And it's called cardholder data. Oh, there's a hint. It says go through PCID standard documentation. All right. Then task six, NIST special publications talks about NIST 800-53 key points. Developing and implementing NIST 800-53 information security program, compliance best practices, and lastly NIST 800-63B. So answer the questions below per NIST 800-53 in which control category does the media protection lie? So it talks about this and it says media protection, physical controls. Next question per NIST 800-53, in which control category does the incident response lie? Incident response, administrative control. And lastly, which phase name of NIST 800-53 compliance press practices results in correlating identify assets and permissions? See, that would be map data and permissions. All right, task seven information security management compliance talks about ISO slash IEC 27001 and uh, service organization control 2 SOC 2. And answer a question below. Which ISO slash IEC 27001 component involves selecting and implementing controls to reduce the identified risk to an acceptable level? All right. As you read through it, I believe it's this one risk treatment. And last question in SOC2 general controls, which control shows the system remains available? So this chart and it's ensure that systems maintain high availability. All right. Task eight conclusion. And then it says answer question below. Click this view site button at the top of the task to launch the static site and split view with the flag after completing the exercise. All right, let's click. It says instructions, got to know that you have a great aim. Please select security control missile from the right side and aim it to aim at its corresponding vulnerability bubbles. Would you like to take a guided tour to learn about to get started? Let's start. Vulnerable bubbles. Each color in this group of bubbles represent vulnerability. Please hover over the vulnerability to see the problem it described. Harpoon is harpoon that releases missile towards the bubbles. You aim to adjust its direction, moving the cursor in the playground area. Playground, please move the cursor in the area to aim at the bubbles and click to fire the missiles. Security controls, please select control framework from this list. 
and time is ticking. You only got two minutes to complete this task. Each wrong attempt will decrease the timer by 10 seconds. And during the game, you will get two bonus questions to answer. You can track its progress here. Okay, so phishing emails. That would be user awareness. All right, we want to read Buster. Which of the following is a valid NIST publication dealing with security and privacy controls for information system and organizations? So it says NIST, I believe is, you go back to task six, it's 853, all right. <clears throat> Unpatch software, let's go to automatic patch management. Awesome. Vulnerary Buster, which of the following frameworks primarily assists in information security management and compliance? So, Framework. I believe would be SOC two. All right. Unregulated, non compliant. Maybe SOC2. Damn. All right. Data leakage. When it says EU, it means GDPR. How do you know that? Sorry, right here. GDPR implemented by the EU. So. And last one secure connection SSL slash TLS. Man in the middle attack. All right, flag, copy and paste. There you go, guys. Once you complete the room, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, as I already shared my LinkedIn. And I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, uh, comment below on the video. And let me know how to improve these videos and currently I'm not in the IT industry but I'll be soon switching to it um, hope you like the last videos I did how I pass uh, CompTIA A+, A plus, Pentest+, plus, and Security+, plus. and uh, let me see what's the next video <clears throat> As you can see, is the CompTIA pen test. Looks like we finished the planning and scoping. And the next video will be Metasploit introduction. And I'm just going to reset this progress. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.